Hello folks, uh, today we are going to read bit about inbound delivery. So let's start with creation of a purchase order using T code ME21N. Once you execute ME21N, we need to enter the supplier and then the purchasing organization, purchasing group and company code. Having done that, let's enter the material that we want to order from our vendor. Once you have entered that, put the PO quantity like that is the order quantity, allowing that please put the plant and the storage location where you want to receive this material in your warehouse. So remember when you are putting this plant and storage location, make sure that you put the storage location as ROD that is received on dock so that we are able to receive the product in our storage location that is ROD. Right. Once we have done that, let us now go into the item details tab and go to the confirmation, confirmation control key. Make sure you give in the confirmation control key to be able to receive that as an inbound delivery. Once we have done that, save to create the purchase order number. Once we have the purchase order number, you can copy that and keep it for your reference. Then we go ahead with creation of the inbound delivery using VL31 end screen in the ERP side or on the Hesperana side. Once you have the supplier and purchase number, hit enter, go to the next screen here. You can just verify uh, whether you have the correct material, you have the plant and s or not, then just go ahead and save it. This will indeed create the inbound delivery number. Just copy this inbound delivery number and let us execute slash n slash SEWM PRDI that is to maintain the inbound delivery in the EWM side. Now put this inbound delivery number in the find, uh, uh, find screen. And then you can see your inbound delivery goods received unloading put away nothing has been started right you can also verify your document category your document type okay and then in the item tab also you can verify the same thing item type and item category right so once you have verified all these things okay we are very much good again i'm uh, retreating my thing this is this is the ewm site where we are viewing our inbound delivery we are basically maintaining our inbound delivery click on the unload button you will see unloading is completed then if you want to reverse the unloading, you can click on the drop down, click on reverse unload and you can see the un unloading has been reversed. And now go ahead with clicking on the goods receipt button. So you see the goods receipt has been completed. Similarly, click on the reverse goods receipt, receipt button to reverse the goods receipt. Once you have done the unloading and goods receipt completed, now it is time for doing the put away. Go to inbound delivery follow on function warehouse task. Click on warehouse task right as soon as you go into the warehouse request you can see okay click on the form view you can verify all the details the source bin will be the gr zone the stock type the quantity the product the wpt then just go ahead and do create plus save this create plus save is going to create a warehouse order under this warehouse order we'll have a warehouse task created remember warehouse task and warehouse order will appear in a, in a sequence right now we have open warehouse order and warehouse task just go ahead and see where it is moving. It is moving from GR zone to the destination bin that is being picked by your putaway strategies, right? We'll have a document reference of inbound delivery. See the stock type, see the process type, then just go ahead and do confirm plus save. As soon as you do confirm plus save, this warehouse order and warehouse task will get confirmed. And if you go back on your inbound delivery tab, inbound delivery screen, you can see the putaway has already been completed. So this completes the whole inbound delivery end-to-end -end process from starting of creation of the inbound delivery to put away.